All right, my friends. So I did tell you that I was going to show you everything individually on my last video or my last video of my haul from my little scrapbook store. I ended up getting a few different happy scrappy bags and there's so much in them. I thought my video would take forever if I did uh, kind of show you everything. So I thought I would do them individually. So this is a set from Chow Bella, The Sound of Summer. And these are called, let's see, let me tell you, this paper pad offers 17 different fussy cutter, cutting and pattern designs, one additional design in the cover with four cards. And I'm gonna move this slightly so we can see just a little better. Okay, so let's see what we have. Oh, you know, and I thought this was A4 size, but I'm not sure, so let me tell you. This looks like it's just over eight inches and then just under 12 inches. In case you wanna know what kind of size we have going here. So here's the first sheet, it is gorgeous. I mean, it's wood grain. And then there's pieces down here which you can choose to leave in or you can cut out and they are beyond gorgeous, but it is like a blue painted, kind of like a decking, so that's cool. So right here we have four different pieces that are awesome for cut aparts. And then, oh, this is music notes and it's all watercolory in all different, different soft tones of blue and it actually looks like clouds on top of music notes. This is definitely a cut apart sheet and I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it getting ideas like how gorgeous is that for a title card? Cute little seahorse all in browns and then we have more wood grain. There's tons of wood grain in this. And then this sheet here is just absolutely gorgeous, pale blue and white and wood grain again. Another cut apart sheet here. We have these really large circles that almost remind me of a porthole, but then there's clock hands so you can turn them into a clock, which is so cool. Nice little words you can cut out and pop up on a little foam. Oh, and this back piece looks like sand. Cool. Cut aparts again with a really large circular shapes. Now, I am wondering how wide those are. I have a three inch punch. So these are like three and a half inch. Very cool. So we have a captain's wheel, diary, the voice of the sea speaks to the soul. And yeah, gorgeous wood grain. So really large cut apart pieces here beautiful blue painted goodness there. Cut aparts again. I have a thing for little words. I think they add so much and you can just do a tiny bit of inking if you want to around it. And this collection has a lot of brown in it. So if you're thinking of doing some inking, I would head kind of towards a brown or a tea type shade. So here we have another one and we have some blue writing in it. Blue up here. Nice things that you can punch out as you go. Some tags. Great part for journaling right here. And this looks like fabric. Can you see those lines in there? It looks like canvas. Another sheet that looks like, like wood grain with music notes superimposed on top of it. And then a really gorgeous wood grain. Look at that seagull. You spend any time near the water and you're gonna spend a lot of time with them. All right, so that's this set, which I don't think I'm gonna put back into this packaging because it has a really sticky spot right there and I don't wanna fuss with it. All right, so the next set, which same thing, I'm probably not gonna put it back in because I did a great job with the stickiness. I can use that for some uh, mixed media stuff. So this one has 23 different designs, an additional design in the cover with five cards. Awesome. So I think they're referring to these five cards that are on the cover. Oh, in the back is music superimposed over gorgeous wood grain and lots of cards to cut out. So this one's interesting. I mean, I would, for me, I would definitely cut out these pieces, but you can use it just as a background and a simple photo on it or a very easy title page to an album. This is a gorgeous sea, kind of photorealistic seascape. 
Same thing here, absolutely easy to use background, need just a little bit of dimension and you're done. And this is clouds with the music notes over it. And I think it's the same one as that, uh, the smaller sheets I was showing you. So this is a photorealistic one again, and I'm not as into photorealistic. Like I could cut out the little birdies and be happy, but this right here is way more my thing gorgeous little bits with those picture frames. But look at that. It just needs to be used. So this has all of the elements that are in this design. Again, I'm, that little boat is adorable. Ooh, but look at this wood grain. It's like almost goes into a greeny tone here. So pretty, pretty. Great cut apart with all of these border pieces that are in there and then these smaller bits. And look at how fine these are. Like that is like a third of an inch. Oh, and this is like a white woven basket. Cool. So another great background scene. And I like it that it has kind of like handwritten words across the back. And then this is beyond gorgeous, the sound of summer right here and lots of room for your own decoration bits. And this is a bunch of cut aparts. That anchor is going to be on page mine ever so soon. And then an absolutely gorgeous, really blown up painted wood grain. Now this is the kind of paper that all together is too much for me, but look at all the little bits that you can cut out for your pages. But this one you, looks like denim and it's sewn onto a really nice canvas print with anchors. Very cute for a boat scene. Tons and tons of icons to cut out. Detail cut, fussy cut, whatever you like to call them. And this is a lot more of a fabric -y with rope lines in between or really heavy stitching and music notes. This is a super soft, multi-tonal gray, blue, almost a little bit of a green wood grain. And this piece here that I want to detail cut out all these little bits for a layout that I'm coming up with in my head for a blue layout I need to get done for Sunday. All right, so then my last one from the Sound of Summer, Chow Bella. This is the one that's called Patterns Pad 12 by 12 and I'll never remember again which one went with what because I'm going to combine them all. So this one, it says one additional design in the cover with three textured cards. So these are the three textured cards and right here you can see that these are clocks with all these little clock hands. So that could be awfully cool. Like to me it seems like if you could glossy accent those clock hands and put them on it would be awesome. And then this piece here has all of these little alphas that you can cut out to put your sentiments and then you have a gorgeous sheet of water coloring. This is wood grain with some ropes. I'm, very cool background. Now that's not too much for me because there's only a couple of icons. It's the papers that have like 5,000 icons that are tricky for me. Oh, but that's one of the most beautiful pieces of paper in the history of time. There's some colors in here that are going towards indigo with saturation. So as much as that's cute, I'll use that. All right, this is the kind of paper I said is way too much for me all at once. I can do a strip or I can cut out words like coastal living, cut out the little icons, but let's see what the backside has. And the backside will be used. It has the tan, and which makes you think of like beach sand as well as these great blues. Now this is awesome. Gigantic clocks, you have clock hands. Ugh, you can put your title right there, which I might be doing. And an awesome, beautiful, amazing wood grain. I like the deeper brown in this one. So bunch of seagulls. I don't really love seagulls, so we're just gonna ignore that. And an awesome wood grain going from the blues into just the really whitewashed wood grain. So we have a rope pattern with fishies and shells, and that's a very, very textured background, fabric-y, and a nice geometric to break things up a bit. Lots of fishies and shells icons on this one, and it looks like water behind it. 
in this oh that that's not getting used my friends absolutely gorgeous wood grain again with all of the colors in the collection represented and here's a geometric in kind of like a taupe a taupe geometric and then clocks with clocks with clocks with clocks but i am loving this one right here all right so that is the ciao bella the sound of summer any questions or comments leave them down below and i did pick this up or I was gifted it from my little scrapbook store. All right, bye friends.